Hi there, everybody, and welcome to the first ever Team Tomy Inner Circle Weekly Meetup. I always got to give things like really long names. I don't know why. It's just something I do. But that's our name, Team Tomy Inner Circle Weekly Meetup. Now, the goal of this weekly meetup is to show you what's currently working to get you more customers, leads, and or sales. Each week, I'll be sharing a different strategy with you that you can take and use in your business, okay? That's what this is all about. Now, since this is our very first meetup, is what I want to do um, is focus today on how to use everything you got in the Liz Loves Her Customers December 2016 package. Now, for those of you watching the recording of this, you may or may not have access to this stuff, but don't worry, you're still going to learn a lot, okay? Now, before we get started here, a um, couple things. If you have questions, there is a little box. You should have like a, a GoToWebinar control panel. You can type in questions there. Um, and when I get to a stopping point, I will uh, read your questions and answer them. Um, if you have a long question and want to talk to me, um, I can unmute you. Just type unmute in the box and I'll unmute you and you can ask your question. Uh, I am very colorful. Sometimes I drop the F-bomb. I try to keep that to a minimum. Um, I try and keep all cussing to a minimum, but I do have a potty mouth, so you've been warned. Um, a lot of people are like, you know, I don't care what my people think. I'm me. I do what I want. I'm not here to offend anybody. Um, but I am just warning you guys that sometimes I get a little colorful, inappropriateness, all that fun stuff we'll be doing here. But the main focus is on providing you guys with really good information in the shortest time possible, okay? Uh, so let's start with who's here. We've got Brett Griswold, Byron Welch, Calvin Bong, Carolyn Skipper, Diane Temple, Edward Chamless, Frank Oh. Go <laughs> Frank G, that's his new name. Fred Ferguson, guys, I'm horrible with names. Jeff Ellis, Jason Daly, Lou Ellen Goodwin, Peter Wickham, Rain Kathany Posner, Rogelio Palomo, guys, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your name. Roy Brewer, Russell Taylor, Stephen Har, Tony Ziegler. Welcome, everybody. I'm really excited about this. Okay, so let's start with what you currently got. You guys should all have, oh, William Potts just hopped on. Welcome, William. Um, you guys should all have been to your download page. Um, you should be on the updates list, which is located right over here. Um, and like I said, for those of you who are watching this recording, maybe you're watching it at a later date. This is January 10th, 2017. You may or may not have access to this. Um, but I wanted to do kind of like a getting started thing today so everybody can get on the same page and know what to do with all this stuff they got. Um, but what I'm going to be teaching can be applied to many, many different things, okay? I'm just showing people what to do with what they got here. So you should have two squeeze page systems. Those are ready and downloadable. Three special offers. Those are ready and downloadable. Five products with rights. Those are ready and downloadable. Six coaching programs with the PLR, which are coming soon. And all those amazing graphics in the uh, one-year membership to ready-to-go graphics, okay? So is what I want to do today is talk about an action plan to put this all together, okay? So the first thing that you want to do, let me pull out my draw board because I'm going to be drawing all of this out. Let's start with the squeeze pages. So you guys got two different squeeze pages. One of the squeeze pages um, is for the list building niche. So if you downloaded this and set it up, um, it's all, uh, it's a free giveaway for the list building niche. So if you want to cater to the list building niche, if you want to build a list of people who want to learn how to build a list and market to that list and make money from that list, then I recommend that you start here and set this up and start building your list. Now, the second squeeze page system is the make money online niche. Now, this is just general. You could basically put this up, drive traffic to it, and these kind of people are looking for make money online types of things. This one is more versatile than this one. This one is more of a smaller niche. 
This one is like a great big giant niche, okay? Um, I like going into bigger, smaller niches, if that makes any sense, um, just because you can get a more tightly focused list. I have a list building list, a list that's interested in nothing but list building. I have a list that's interested in nothing but um, blogging. I have a list that's interested in nothing but affiliate marketing. But I also have a list like this that's all about um, wanting to learn to make money online, okay? All of these different lists I make money from. So it's up to you. What do you want to do? Now, you may not want to be in either of these niches, but if you have nothing, this is better than nothing. But you guys have got to get this set up, okay? This is, this is basically the foundation of your business. You've got to have something that you can send people to and start um, building your list. Right now, guys, I'm just looking for my icons. Here we go. So let's use this one. The first thing in your foundation should be your squeeze page. So let's do squeeze page. This is where all your traffic is going to go, okay? Anything you do to drive traffic, you always want to send them to a squeeze page so that you can get them on your list. Certain people have different opinions about this. Let them have those opinions. I have facts to back up that if you have a list, you can make money anytime you want. Send an email, make money, okay? If you do things correctly. Now, once you have this set up, of course, when traffic comes here, these people are going to be added to your list. What do you guys think you need next in this equation? What do you need once people are on your list? Let's hear from you guys. Uh, Fred says a freebie. That's what you're giving away um, on the squeeze page, okay? Uh, let's see. So Fred says a freebie. Steve says email sequence. Ray and Kathy Posner says sales page. Brett says uh, product. Carolyn says follow up. Peter says autoresponder. Guys, you need a follow up email series. So a couple of you guys were right. Okay. This first email is what I recommend you do is that you, of course, deliver them to the download page which both of these squeeze page systems that I gave you come with download pages. You need to dry, take, put a link in this email to that download page. I also recommend putting a link in there to your bio, okay? Now, is what I do is anytime I start into any niche, I build a squeeze page, and then I also have, let's see what I can use, a blog because I can post all kinds of different things to my blog. And one of the things that I always post to my blog is an about me page. So we're gonna put here, blog. And you need to have a page or a post or something here that tells people about you, is what I recommend you do is you share your story. Whatever your story is, it doesn't matter if you're having success yet or not, share your story and make sure you put a link in here too. So basically, Email number one says, you know, hey, thanks for signing up. Here's your freebie. Give them a reason why they need to go and consume that freebie, okay, on your download page. So download page, and that's where your squeeze page. So a link in here. Tell them why they give them some big benefit, why they need to consume it right now. You got to get them used to clicking on links in your emails, okay? So give them some big benefit. So if you're using the, the Make Money Online squeeze page, one of the benefits could be, hey, if you don't have a business right now, in the next 10 minutes, you could, you know, have, you know, decided on your dream business. Just read this right now, okay? And then when it comes to sharing your About Me page, your bio page, whatever you want to call it, again, you got to give them a reason to, to click. You know, maybe mine can be, you know, how I survived five kids, a divorce, a move across the country, and still managed to run a successful online business. Is that going to get people clicking? Of course it is. You've got to use your words to get people to click on your links and your emails, okay? So this is how it works with email marketing. Number one, subject line gets them to open the email. Bad subject line, no open. They're never going to read your email, okay? 
The next thing in email marketing is getting them to click on your links. You've got to use your words to make them click on your links, okay? Give them some benefit. Why do I need to click on this link right now? Oh, boom, let me click on this link right now, okay? So subject line, they read, they click, they go to whatever it is that you're wanting them to go to, and then whatever it is you want them to go to has its own job. So if it's a sales page, it's selling a product. Um, if it's a blog post, it's you know educating them or getting them to click another link or whatever. But each component has its own job, and you need to realize that right off the bat. So email number one, give them a link to the download page, tell them about you, okay? And then I recommend adding in a couple of emails, and we will talk about this later, um, what I call like, know, and trust emails. And these are emails where you can give them, you know, free stuff. You can um, tell them more about you. Um, is what I like to do is give them interviews and stuff like that. But I don't recommend quite selling anything yet, okay? You've got to get these people to like, know, and trust you before they're going to buy from you. Now, of course, if you, which is the next thing, set up one of the upsells. So if we go here to ready to go upsell package, there's three different special offers in this upsell package. Now, if you're using the list building one, I recommend that you use some one of the upsells that are related to list building in some way. If you're gonna use the you know make money online one, I recommend you use one of them um, for the whole make money online niche, okay? So let me go in here and, because I don't remember exactly the upsell, let's see, are we in, nope, we're in list homey sites. Those are customers, upsell package, simple to pay traffic masterclass, traffic fuel. Okay, so is what I would do is if you're doing the list building one, either the traffic fuel special offer or the paid traffic masterclass special offer, either one of these would be good for that because if people are building a list, they need to know how to get traffic, right? Right. And then the simple, mis member, simple member system would be great for the make money online people because it's a way to make money online, okay? So if we look at this, if you're looking for the security of having regular monthly payments come in automatically, let me show you. And this is a way to create a membership site and make money for it, okay? So this would be good for that. So the next thing here is going to be having some kind of special offer. And let's use this thingy here. So having some kind of special offer, and since I've given you ready to go special offers, this is where you wanna have that special offer, okay? So let's not get lost where we're at. Traffic comes to your squeeze page, they get on your list. This happens behind the scenes automatically. They should then be dropped on your special offer page, okay? Now, if they buy from here, then you need to add them to your list for this product, okay? And then you can have a whole nother follow-up. Um, we'll go over here, so list. This is now a customer list. And again, you need to have some of those like, know, and trust emails. Checking in with them, hey, did you see on page whatever that you could do, you know, X, Y, Z? Or hey, I gave this tip. Did you, you know, read this in here? You definitely want to get them consuming this, okay? Always get people consuming your information. And then, of course, once you, you know, do the whole like, know, and trust thing here, then you can go on to, you know, sell them um, more products. You can go on to sell them products that you're an affiliate for, stuff like that. Same thing over here. You can start asking for money once you get through the like, know, and trust stuff, okay? Like, no, and trust stuff. There we go. All right, so let me look at my notes here. Of course, my notes are all screwed up. Let's go back. All right, so that's the squeeze fist systems, the special offers, um, the master resale rights products you guys got, okay? You can take those. You can set those up. So let's say you have one. We're going to call these product pages, two, three, four, five. You have five of these now, okay? Set them up on their own domain names. You can then go to this list that you're building and say, hey, 
did you see this product? And just send them an email. Or you can add in emails to your autoresponder as a follow-up sequence, okay? Now, I may be speaking Greek and gibberish and all that fun stuff to you guys, but like I said, this is just kind of an overview of how you can put all this stuff together. Um, if you guys have questions about how to implement anything that I'm, I'm showing you, type those in, let me know, and in future um, webinars, I can cover different aspects of all of this, okay? All right, so, um, so that would be product one, two, three, four, and five. Guys, what this is is a business foundation. You've got your squeeze page, you've got a special offer, and you've got ready-to-go products. If you just took this and did what I showed you here, and all you focused on was a couple of hours a day driving traffic, traffic is the key here, you would have a nice little money-making system. So, let me see, I see questions coming in. Hold on one second. <laughs> Fraser says, Christ, I've just joined late to be confronted by the blackboard of madness. <laughs> It is kind of a blackboard of madness. I'll give you that, okay? Um, now, once you guys start getting um, the PLR to all of the, to the, the six coaching programs you guys are going to get, you can use the graphics to create your own graphics, to create your own products. You can have sales pages created, um, hire a copywriter, have copy written for them, all kinds of stuff. Now, we're going to talk about that in future uh, webinars using PLR and stuff like that. Actually, on the next webinar, I'm going to be um, talking about, by the next webinar, we should have at least one of the coaching programs done so I can use it as an example of you know how to take a raw PLR product and turn it into your own product. Uh, we'll be talking about you know what to do and stuff like that. But every time you can add something, be it a product you get master resale rights to, a product you get PLR to, one of your own products, an affiliate um, promotion, that becomes an asset and you want to have as many assets as you possibly can because every time you get a new asset, this list that you're building, you can go to them and go, hey, looky what I got, okay? But you have to have the foundation, and the foundation always starts with the squeeze page, usually your blog, and optionally, which you're stupid if you don't, some kind of special offer after they opt in, okay? And the biggest reason you want to have some kind of special offer after they opt in is because there's lots of different traffic tactics, but the ones who work the quickest are the ones you pay for, and you can offset your advertising costs by having a good special offer that's targeted to people once they opt in, okay? So guys, this is the game plan for what you need to be doing with all of these goodies that you just got from me. I need to update my credit card. One second, guys, let me move this. I lost my PayPal card and my bank card, and everything's coming to me going, hey, you need to update this. I almost lost my main domain name the other day because my credit card wasn't updated because I lost everything. Don't ask me how it just happened, okay? <laughs> Actually, quick funny story is what happened was is I lost my check card, ordered a new one, and went to the bank to take out cash so I could have money had my PayPal card, dropped it at the bank. Next day, went back to the bank and was like, do you have my PayPal card? They're like, yeah, let me go get it. They go back to get it. The lady comes back out to me. She's like, oh, we don't keep cards overnight. We shredded your PayPal card. Awesome. So <laughs> that's how I lost both of them. But anyway, I want to create a little diagram here for you guys um, so that you have something that you can print out and kind of look at. So let's do... Design, insert, shapes. So the first thing you need to do is pick a squeeze page. So we're going to put a little note out here. So insert, sorry, my phone's going off. Design, insert, shape. Let's do. We're going to try and take this blackboard of madness and 
do a little something with it. So you guys have something that you can look at, not the Blackboard of Madness, as Fraser called it. All right, so I'm going to change the color of this to a lighter color. Pick a squeeze page from the package, okay? And I see your guys' questions coming in. I will get to them in just one moment, though. So there we go. Let's do a text squeeze page. All right, so then the next thing is going to be Special, let's say with all caps, special offer. And then resell I'm going to give this to you guys to download too, so don't worry. Set up all five of the resale rights products that you got. And remember guys, my team will set all five of those products up for you for $97. Um, all you gotta do is send um, an email into the support desk and we will tell you how to pay. Basically you just send, a, send $97 to coachmeliz at gmail.com and we'll tell you exactly what to do to get those all set up, okay? Um, so if you, if you don't wanna go through the hassle, that's 20 bucks a product and setup fees, just FYI. Um, so set all those up, and then you need to come in and have a blog. I'm just going to put notes in here for you guys. Set up a blog to at least have a post or page that tells your story, okay? And then we're going to do, is this making sense to everybody, what I'm creating for you here, this document that I'm creating? Will this help you guys when you go to start implementing what I'm teaching you here? Helpful at all, guys. Need your feedback. And I'll pretty it up some. I'm not going to try and uh, make it pretty right now because it's too time consuming. I'll sit and try and make it perfect for a very long period of time like I'm doing right now. So just stop, Liz. There we go. All right. So then we need auto responder follow-ups. You should create emails to follow up with all subscribers after they opt in on your squeeze page. For squeeze page, okay? Then we're going to go one more here. 
Let's move all this up a little bit. There we go. Put one more in here. Come on, you stupid thing. All right, so this would be autoresponder follow-ups for products. You should create a list and emails to follow up with all buyers for each product you have, okay? I fail here a lot. If you guys will actually create, so when someone opts in, they get on your list. When they buy product A from you, they should be put on that list, and you should have a follow-up series in that. That follow-up series, like I said, should continue building the like, know, and trust, getting them to consume your product, and then you can also cross-promote you know, other products that you have product or products that you're an affiliate for, okay? Everybody understanding. And Luella and Goodwin says, yes, this will definitely make more sense later than the Blackboard of Madness screenshot. Um, Peter says, a different list for each product? Yes, definitely. A different list for each product. If I go into my AWeber account here, let's go into the AWeber account of Madness. For each squeeze page I have, for each product I have, I have a list. Notice how long this thing is? And it just goes and goes and goes and goes, guys, okay? This is years of me creating and selling products, sticking up squeeze pages, stuff like that, okay? Um, and a lot of people are like, well, Liz, how do you, you know, how do you know who to email? If I have a general email, you know, like I want everybody to read, then I just broadcast it to everybody. If I only want, like, certain lists to have it, like if I only want you know, um, certain buying customer lists to have, then I'll just go through and select the list that I want, okay? It's not as hard as it seems, I promise. Okay, and everybody's liking the diagram I'm creating for you guys. Okay, so let me save this so I don't lose it. So File, save as, browse, webinar one, package overview. All right, so I'll pretty this up. Um, do you guys have any questions about just this part here? Everybody understands this is kind of the foundation. You can build the foundation of an entire business with what I've given you in the Liz Loves Her Customer package, right? And then, like I said, as you guys get the, the PLR to the coaching programs I'm going to do, you can take those, set those up, create more assets. So that's probably something else I need to add in here. Just do a word bubble here, wherever it went. There it goes. We'll come down here. And 
and we're gonna put this in red because I want you guys to really take note of what I'm about to say here always be on the lookout for ready to go assets that you can add to your business to make more money from things like resale rights products PLR products ready to go funnels systems and membership sites you guys know I release a, a lot of the the ready to go um, membership sites ready to go funnels stuff like that that's all assets that you can add to your business okay always be on the look for those also remember that you can develop your own assets too it's just easier to use what is already out there guys also make sure you're looking for the good quality stuff too okay I shouldn't even have to say that but all right so let me see questions here okay Ray and Kathy Posner I don't know if it's Posner or Posner. It's probably Posner. All right. So do you use double opt-in from your squeeze pages? I do not. I cannot recommend that you don't. Um, just because I can't be responsible if something happens. If you do something stupid and you start spamming people and you get lots of complaints and stuff like that. Um, but I personally do not use double opt-in. Um, it's just one more step that you have to make people take. Some people's argument is, well, you know, if they take that extra step, they're going to be a better subscriber. Well, yeah, maybe they are. But I would rather have more people on my list um, than, you know, a better subscriber. I would take, you know, 35 different, 35 people on my list than, you know, five people who confirmed. Because maybe, you know, 20 of those 35 are actually good subscribers. They just didn't go and confirm. Um, so I, I don't subscribe to the, the school of thought of, you know, they're a better subscriber. And nobody has br brought me numbers and results showing me that, um, that, that you know, double opt-in is better. I had somebody who was testing it. Um, but there's so many variables in that that it's really hard to test if double opt-in is better than, you know, single opt-in. Okay, Steve says, Liz, for me, the most critical part I fell at is driving traffic paid or free. Now, that's something we're going to talk about. I'm going to have an entire coaching program dedicated to traffic. But the biggest issue I see with people who say, you know, well, I have an issue with driving traffic. The biggest issues there are, number one, they're trying to use too many tactics number two they're using the wrong tactics number three they're not consistent with the tactics they use those are the three big things um, you have to be very consistent keep using you know traffic sources and stuff like that find proven things that work it all comes down to testing and tracking and then taking what you find that works and using it repeatedly for me what works for me is um, solo ads banner advertising Facebook advertising of course, getting affiliates to promote my stuff, um, using f other free Facebook methods like, you know, creating a following and stuff like that. All those things work for me. Sometimes they don't work for others. You've got to find what works for you. If you find just a little bit of success in just one tactic, then go to that tactic, hammer the hell out of it and keep using it until you're getting bigger results. That's the best advice I can give you, Steve. Getting traffic is quite the challenge. Carolyn Skipper, I want to move from HostGator by March 1st. Suggestions? You know what I suggest. Liquid Web. Liquid Web, Liquid Web, Liquid Web. They have always been awesome to me. Um, they don't have the, the, the regular hosting anymore. You do have to use dedicated. But if we go over to Liquid Web. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. 
Uh, I have this VPS servers. This is from 50 bucks a month, and I'll show you exactly which one I have. I have this one. Two gigs of RAM, one core processor, 100 gigs disk space, 5T of transfer. Um, I use Linux, not Windows. Crashes too much, okay? Most of you guys could start right here, but this is what I use. Let me go back to questions here. Peter's asking, so you recommend to put all different products on different domain names, not subdomain names or folders. You can do it that way, but here's my take on that. I can spend 10 bucks a year on a domain name for product A. And maybe my conversions are 1% to 2% higher. So that's 1 to 2 sales for every 100 visitors I get. It's totally worth that 10 bucks a year to have higher conversions, okay? Um, but if you feel like you've just got too many domain names and you don't want to do it that way, it's fine to do it that way. But to me, 10 bucks a year making a couple more sales is totally worth the extra money. Kim is asking, since you pay for duplicate subscribers on Aweber, do you use list automation? I do not. I just go in and I'll start a support ticket and be like, hey, all those unsubscribes, delete them for me. And they do. Carolyn, I don't know what's spelled wrong. Uh, Steve's saying, hey Liz, when you do buy reseller rights products that come with a sales page, do you use the sales as is or do you have a rule of thumb for whatever or not to tweak or rewrite it before using it? Okay, first of all, you've got to ask if you can, if it's just resale rights. Um, if it's PLR, of course you can. But generally, I will have sales pages rewritten, um, new graphics and stuff like that, especially for PLR stuff so that I stand out, that my copy's better, because 9.9 9 out of 10 times when you get copy for um, products that you have rights for, the copy's not that great. You're not going to get, like, awesome copy when you're buying, you know, $10 products. Frank says, should we be cross-subscribing with these five products? Um, yeah, you'll want it, like I showed you in my Aweber account, you want a list for each of these, okay? Of course, each list, you'll want different emails, um, you know, stuff like that. But, yeah, definitely put your people on a list for each product. Roy says, when setting up both your squeeze page, is it better on one domain, such as yourdomain.com, or separate keyword domain names? All right, first, I, I kind of answered that, but let me talk about keyword domain names. I do not pay attention to keywords at all. Why? Because I do not pay attention to search engine optimization at all. I think it's a giant waste of time. There's too many companies out there. Um, if you're wanting to rank in the search engines for things, there's too many companies out there that you can outsource that to. Okay. Um, so I totally out and I only do SEO in my niche stuff. I don't do any SEO and I am in my niches, my little niches and stuff. I will, but I hire someone to do all of that for me. Um, Roy's asking, what is the minimum number of emails for follow-up series? I would say a minimum of five, but I mean, and that's just like no one trust emails. I usually do three to five. Uh, Rogelio, could I use MailChimp as autoresponder and then go for paid autoresponder like AWeber later on when I will start making money? I do not recommend that. Guys, this is a business. There are things you're going to have to pay for up front. Domain names, hosting, autoresponder. Those are your three things you got to put money on, okay? I'm just reading your guys' comments. Uh, so using single opt-in, do subscribers get taken to a thank you page saying that an email is on the way with a link to their free gift? Okay, so Ray and Kathy Posner. So using a single opt-in, do subscribers get taken to a thank you page saying that an email is on the way with a link to your free gift? Show you what I do. And I might have it on these pages. Okay, so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll have like a graphic like this. This is, you know, important. Do not skip this message. 
and then I'll have like a little box here before the headline that says, Hey, an email was just sent to you with your download link, but, and it'll take, you know, 10 to 15 minutes to get there while you're waiting, check out this. And then I'll go into the headline and the sales copy for, um, the product. But I don't take them to a thank you page. If I have a special offer that I want to put in front of them after they opt in, I automatically take them to the sales page for that and just have a little blurb at the top that says, hey, an email was just sent to you. All right, guys, who has more questions? Everybody clear on what you should be doing with the Liz Loves Her Customers package? Now, there's a lot more company coming. I know I'm running behind on the coaching portion. You guys are going to learn a lot in the coaching portion, plus get private label rights to all that stuff so you can start using those as assets. And hopefully this will really help you guys understand what you should be doing with all that fun stuff. So just to kind of recap before we start wrapping up here, squeeze page, special offer. Remember to pick a squeeze page, get it set up, get a domain name, get it set up, pick a special offer, get it set up, set up those resale rights products. Make sure that you have, you know, a blog set up. Um, and at least have a poster page that tells your story. We'll talk about blogging um, in the future. That's definitely something I want to talk about. I'm going to tell you guys how I use my blog. Basically, I use my blog to educate. Helps with the whole like, know, and trust thing and gets people buying. Um, and then at the very least, make sure your autoresponder um, is loaded with follow-ups where people subscribe at your squeeze page. Remember those like, know, and trust emails when we're talking about the uh, blackboard of madness here? <laughs> this is usually how I explain things and then I'll create a document that you know looks like a normal sane person is teaching um, this is kind of lunatic Liz and this is normal sane Liz uh, but when I'm teaching on the fly I just pull out the, the blackboard and I start drawing stuff um, but I'll always come back and, and condense it down and give you guys something that you could actually use print out use and learn from okay Uh, Carolyn says, get busy and start promoting. No traffic, no money. Best traffic is what you own your email list. That's exactly right. Best traffic is the people on your list, guys. Hands down. And Fred says, I like you laying out the picture like this. I get this. Good, good. I love when people say, I get this. That makes me so happy. All right, guys. Um, usually these webinars, I'm going to try and keep under an hour just because I know you guys are busy. I go really fast through things sometimes. Um, but I'm, I only teach as much as you need me to teach. I'm not going to elaborate on things unless you guys need me to elaborate on things. So if you have questions, it's really important that you ask. Okay. Uh, crap. Who just typed in the question about WordPress? It deleted. All I saw was, do you use WordPress? And if you're asking if I use WordPress on my blog, absolutely. The only thing I use to set up blogs. And I'll give you guys a couple of examples of my blogs. And let's do that. Let me talk about what I use and why. So we've got Liz Tomy. We've got Backpack Business Lifestyle. And we've got IamWithLiz.com. And we've got, yeah, I got a lot of blogs. I'll explain why in just a second. Instant income PLR slash blog. How many slashes can we put in there? There we go. Alrighty. So I have instant income PLR.com forward slash blog. This is for my PLR business. Okay. Um, then we have listomi.com. This just brands me as an expert. Okay. Then we have backpack business lifestyle. This is my business where I do nothing but teach online business models. And then we have, I am with Liz and this is where I teach all my internet marketing stuff. Okay. I am a compartmental thinker. So I have each of my businesses in a little compartment. So this is my internet marketing where I teach internet marketing. 
This is my business model coaching where I teach different online business models. This is my PLR business where I teach and sell PLR. And then we have just regular old Liz Tomy and she, this site really doesn't have um, a good direction. Um, it's just a good landing spot for people to come and see the hodgepodge of me. It's a little bit more personal than these other blogs. I share personal stuff here. So this is another one of those like, know, and trust builders. Um, my about me page is on here, you know, stuff like that. So all of these are WordPress blogs. Um, it's really easy to set up a WordPress blog. If you go over to my YouTube channel, I believe we go videos. Let's go back to list. Tell me. Uh, and guys, this online business resources um, by topic page is awesome. If I don't say so myself. I have um, resources and they're broken down into categories like writing sales copy, blogging, email marketing, product launching, products with rights, and I'll have a whole bunch more coming. This is just, this is like my lifelong effort at teaching and having all the resources at your fingertips by category. So if we go over here to blogging, where do I have that? I guess I haven't put that up yet. Why have I not put that up yet? I know I have these. They're just not up yet. But I have a video where I show you how to create a resale rights product, how to set up creating six-figure Affiliate blog, crash course, PLR articles, lead magnet. Blog Kickstart Workshop. Here we go. Found it. You need a website. Why not do it yourself? With Wix, you can One second, guys. Skip it. All right, so yes, this is exactly what this is. This is me showing you how I set up I am with Liz. So there you guys go. Go to my YouTube channel. It should be youtube.com forward slash Liz Tomy. If not, you can come to LizTomy.com. Click on... Um, I thought... Do I know how YouTube listed here? What the hell's going on? Facebook, Twitter, G+, Pinterest. I need to fix that. I wonder why YouTube's not in there. Well, I need to fix that. So, youtube.com forward slash Liz Tomy. That will work. Click on videos. videos and then blog kickstart workshop Winston says hi Liz I got my times mixed up for this webinar will it be recorded absolutely Philip Lopez what's up brother um Carolyn says, which manager do you use to keep WP blogs and sites up to date? I use main WP. And Ray and Kathy Posner, pages or posts for your blog? It depends on what you want to do. Um, if we go over to Backpack Business Lifestyle, um, I have pages for certain things, but when I'm teaching or promoting or something like that, I just do them as a post. My main staple pages, um, like my mission statement, about me, contact, um, that kind of stuff is all 
pages. And then when I just want to write a post, I just, or when I want to teach or educate or something like that, I just write a post here on my blog. I need to go in and add YouTube here. I don't know why it's not there. All right, so everybody get what we've covered today. I'm going to take a call for last call for questions. If there are no other questions, we're going to wrap for today. Uh, Brett says, do you recommend Aweber or any other autoresponder products? Uh, definitely Aweber. Fred says, I'm good, you're great. D. Wright says, well done. Thank you, guys, I appreciate it. Peter says, how many emails per list do you set up on auto? Um, anywhere, the minimum of three to five. You got to have those like, know, and trust emails first. And Calvin Bong says, your tips on choosing domain names? Find something that's catchy and relevant to whatever it is you're setting up or doing. Brett says, where are the replays going to be posting? I'm going to post them probably on YouTube, and then I'll post them in our Facebook group. Philip says, thanks, Elle. I'll catch the replay. I was way, it was late, yes. All right, guys. Everybody said, thank you, Liz. Very informative. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. We had a great first webinar. Uh, Llewellyn says, good session for starting out 27. Thanks, Liz. No problem. I agree. I feel like uh, a weight has been lifted off of me because I finally get to interact with you guys. And this little thing that I created, I think is going to help you guys a lot. Guys, just take what I'm giving you and use it. Bare minimum right here. Squeeze page. Special offer. That's it. Start driving traffic, make money, okay? All right, guys, have a great day, and I'll see everybody next week. Bye, guys.